All right, are you guys ready to meet Camila from Fifth Harmony? There it is. Welcome to Detroit. Yes. Thank you. This is such a warm welcome. I feel so nice. Well, the weather's a little bit better than we've been having here, so you got you caught some good weather coming up here. It's hot. It's boiling. <laughs> well, this this group out here uh, consistently consistently uh, tweeted. Who tweeted a lot? Who tweeted a lot? All right. Yeah. Consistent. Who who called our show? If you didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Who called our show one million times trying to get these? Yeah, say we okay. know. Like we we saw. So these these are the hard workers. Aw, thank you guys. And the best thing has been kind of meeting fans and meeting people all over the world that would travel thousands of miles to come see you and you know to come hug me on my birthday. I mean, <laughs> that's so special. I feel like that's. Um, the most special thing is just like the connections that you make individually with people and like the memories that we've had together and that I've had with, you know, fans individually um, and uh, just like the growth that we've had from then to now. I mean, we've, we started playing like probably the mall here in Detroit where it was like a hundred people that showed up and, you know, now we're getting to play bigger venues and now people come from, you know, Ohio which is awesome. I mean, we were talking about it years ago when we were. I was going to say, yeah, we, when we, we worked met, down in we Florida. We met you guys years ago, like when before I think most people even knew who Fifth Harmony really was. You guys were just doing your thing. And yeah. You guys were really genuine, really nice. Every Thank one you. of you, every last one of you. Thank were, you so much. And that means a lot to us because me and Rat over here, we're very big on like when we meet artists, we like to tell people like, eh, they kind of aren't who you really think they are at times, but. Fifth Harmony is for real. They are Thank really you. all genuine. And we follow them on Snapchat. Do you guys follow them on Snapchat? Uh -huh. we've, yeah. been, we've been Snapchatting. You, you guys have been all over. Thing. You guys have been Snapchat partying, We're man. We're like Ever, those people you, whose stories are really annoying because they're like 30 minutes long to watch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah, good, our, good. Yeah, yeah. we're going to keep doing it. No, our Snapchat, like our Snapchat is the one when people at work say, we follow you on Snapchat. We go, oh, boy. <laughs> do you really do that? Oh, crap. So it was, I read something in, uh, it was in Seventeen uh, Magazine, and it was about Shawn Mendes and your song. And immediately everybody thought, oh my God, there she goes, she's leaving Fifth Harmony. Yeah. Oh no, they're together. Yep. And that kind of really, re <laughs> that really, really bothered you, because you said, you know what, no, we were backstage, we wrote a song, right. we were really feeling it, and that's how it worked out. And you said that that really bothered you, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, of course it, it, it bothers you when people try to kind of twist something into something that it's not or just kind of make a whole big deal out of really just two people that got together and made a song and just made music which is at the end of the day what everybody's supposed to be doing I mean I feel like we're all so lucky to be able to at such a young age be able to experiment creatively and learn from people creatively and just work on developing our craft because at the end of the day we all really really love music and I feel like the best thing to do is just be like a sponge and just learn and practice as much as you can. Because um, I've always, I've always loved songwriting, and you know, there was a moment in time where like I only wanted to be a songwriter, and then I wanted to, like, be an artist. But that's, you know, definitely my number one passion. Um, but anyway, yeah, obviously that kind of hurt. But I mean, we're here, and everybody is really excited about this new album and the girls and I are really excited about this new album and we've worked really hard on it and I'm happy that people can see that and have like a tangible source of evidence that you know we're here and we're trying to kick butt. You know what can I let me touch on the songwriting thing because that's where I come in out of the two of us. You are I emotional. Am, I yes. am more of a guy where I like to know that who I'm listening to writes their music, who I view as an artist is a true artist because there's there's you know, it's the music industry. There's people that ghostwrite. There's people that write for other artists, and they make hits. And right. They're awesome hits, but I respect people that write. Thanks. So I want to know, for the people that write, that might be watching this video that we're filming, that might be right here in front of you, any, any tips or any advice for future writers, for future artists? I love this question. Um, well, I think the most important thing is just to make art and to make music that you believe in and do it because you love it and because it makes you feel good and don't ever write you know to to make a hit to sell whatever to be quote unquote famous because at the end of the day like the best part about it is just getting to put your emotions and put your memories into sound like how cool is that that music can do that, that you can have like a memory 
or something that happened to you and make it like a photograph but with sounds and like different things in it that make you feel the emotion. So just be in love with it for for the right reasons because you love it and not just to, you know. You hear that, kids? <laughs> and also for just, the right reasons. Yeah, and also just just practice as much as you can and just write about every, anything that makes you feel anything. Yep, and say no to drugs. Um, yes. as stay well. in yes. school. Yes. Stay in school. Except for Eat today, your vitamins. obviously. Yes. <laughs> Take stay your vitamins. in school, except for, for today. today. <laughs> uh, if you had a round table that you could be like, I would definitely love to work with this artist, this artist, this artist, or write with this artist, this artist. Do you have like two that just pops in your head right now where you'd be like, yeah. yes. Um, Ed Sheeran. Hell yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, was not, honestly, Drake. Yes. It would be awesome. We were just you know watching Drake videos in the car. My mom and I were like, we love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love Drake a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to say I'm gonna say artists like those two for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love, I love them. We definitely want to go to Twitter for a few questions because uh, you coming here was trending all over the United States. Cool. Detroit was trending yeah, U.S. Yeah, wise. We had people all over uh, the U.S. that we know all over the country that were just texting us one morning or the other day, and we're like, what? So You're Kim, crazy. Kim wants to know, so far this year, your biggest fail in 2016, what oh was it? Oh, my God. My biggest fail in 2016. And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be. Answering this, be answering this question, maybe? Yes, yes. Um, biggest fail. I mean, I've probably had a, a... I mean, I've definitely... Oh, two days ago, I fell in an interview. Okay. Like, in the middle of an interview. I was, I was like, laughing, crying. And then I just... I was on and a stool and I went... down? Yeah. But I didn't stool. completely fall. I just, I just tripped. But it was really embarrassing and Ooh, kind of a fail. That's a rough one. Yeah. Who has a question for Camila out there that wants to ask it? Go ahead. Hi. Go ahead. What, go. Do you do the uh, choreo to work at or work from home today? Yeah. Like yeah. Well, we could do that at the very end so we can all be in it. Yeah. If you'd like that. Do, oh. do you know it and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. I'll stand in the back and look awkward for everyone okay, else. We'll do, that. We'll do so. both. <laughs> all right, go gotcha. ahead. What do you want to ask? Did anyone tell you that, like, you wouldn't make it? Um, yeah. I mean, I think that... There's definitely been obstacles throughout this whole experience. Um, in the beginning, I was an alternate for X Factor, which meant that I wouldn't necessarily um, get the the opportunity to audition, um, which obviously is kind of a blow because you're kind of like, oh, they didn't think that I was good enough to actually get a spot to audition. Um, and so, you know, that, that kind of hurts and, and that sucks. But um, I ended up auditioning like at the end of it. Um, because I just stayed there. Um, but anyway, but besides that, I've told that story before. But I think that definitely along the way, there's always going to be people that kind of try to take away um, your dreams for, from you or try to put negativity on you. Um, but I think you just have to ultimate, ultimately believe in yourself and try to block it out and don't let negative stuff into your heart. And if you really want to do something, you know, do it. Prove them wrong. Uh, Cindy wants to know, Cindy's tweeting and she wants to know, uh, after the album comes out, are you going to give us the details on the tour and the whole thing going down there or what? Yeah. Ooh, um, well, is there, is there a tour? Yeah. The is tour, the there, there's, the tour is in the works. Okay. Can't so, reveal yeah. anything now. Okay, not revealing, but don't say anything if there will be a I'm tour. I'm not saying. I'm not <laughs> saying, but Blink I'm twice. saying. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, we're kind of taking it day by day. Okay. Yeah, cool. but there, it's definitely in the works. All right, cool. uh, yeah. Andrea on Twitter, real quick. Who was the last of the fifth girls that you texted? Um, and what did you say? Last of the. Oh, girl, I'm in Detroit right now. What you doing? Where you at? Well, you we check Snapchat. We have like a, a group chat, and it's usually like really boring texts, like, "Oh, come to the lobby in five minutes." And are like, here, <laughs> running late. Where are you? We're leaving. We got to go. Or like 20 come in a row and you just stop reading them all together. Yeah, that type of like, deal. Yeah, no, I have sound notifications on for my text. Turn them off. Off it's it like, goes. Deep, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, before we go back to the audience, Amanda on Twitter. I kind of like this. Uh, where is the one place that you want to visit this year? Just somewhere random that you're just like, that would be really cool if I went there. I really want to go to Jamaica. Oh, yes. Don't we all, huh? Yes. Yeah. I feel like Jamaica would be really fun. I, I think it's because I'm in the cold now, and I just want to be somewhere hot. hot. Yes. And, and I'd be on a beach somewhere. Did you ever see the cool. movie Cool Runnings? I mean, come on. No. What, what, <laughs> up, up, up. what movie? Cool Runnings? Oh, come on. you got to have to watch no. that one. I'll watch it in Netflix Jamaica. Netflix and chill right yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
All right, who has another question? Uh, in the back, to the left. Hi. Tell us about your favorite song on the album. Yeah. Um, my favorite song on the album, I can't say track names because they'll kill me. But, um, <laughs> but um, my favorite song on the album, I'm a really big lyric person. And so there's one that's kind of like the whole thing is like an extended metaphor. And I love metaphors. <laughs> um, I'm nerdy about that stuff. So, so I, there's that song. I can't. That's literally that all I can say. So when you're listening, just yeah. look for After an extended metaphor. It, look there's for not it. a lot of those on there. It's yeah. like there's, you know, there's a particular one. Is this the truth? Because when we asked this, if we asked this to Fall Out Boy, we asked it to Choice of Like the one with the week. guitars. But they always say the song that we really love the most and we think is going to be the biggest hit is never ever the song that the label picks. Does that happen to you? The radio hit. The radio hit. Um. It happens sometimes, and some other times it it doesn't happen. I mean, I think I don't know because I'm not really the the one to be like, oh, like that's a hit, like mm -hmm. that's the one that I think is gonna be a hit. And usually, my favorite songs on the album or in any albums are like the slower ones, and yes. they're never the upbeat ones. And the so I'm always ones. and so I'm always kind of like, no way, this is gonna be a single. So I I kind of come in, you know, like that's I just like the song that I like the best, and it's usually not the one that the label picks, but you know. People like their up tempos. <laughs> Who else has a question for Camille? Go ahead, back there. Um, what's your favorite birthday present that you've ever gotten? My favorite birthday present I've ever gotten. Life. Oh, um, <laughs> I actually think when I was when I was seven years old and I had just moved to the U.S., my dog Ringo was my birthday present. Or a Christmas? Was it a Christmas present or a birthday present? It's my birthday present. Yeah, he was my birthday present. Yeah. Dogs are the best gift, aren't I they? I love my doggies. So Dogs cute. are the best gift. Who else has another question for? Go ahead. Um, what song can you guys start listening to right now? <gasps> oh my God! Speaking of Troy Sivan, right? I love I love Youth. Um, I love Bite. I love his whole album. I think his whole album is so amazing. And he was so cool and down to earth. You should work yeah. with him one day. That kid can write too. Man. I know he's wow. so good. He's so talented. I want him to be just like the biggest ever. Because he's such a nice guy, too. And he's, such, he's like such a real artist, you know? Yeah, I stood next to him when we took a picture. And I really, after we went back and saw when the station posted pictures, I'm like, where's he at? Like, he was that, just, like, tucked in me. That <laughs> little guy. <laughs> so if I get a picture with you, I'm going to stand, like, five feet over. Uh, where is he at? <laughs> yeah. uh, I love right him. He's amazing. There. Who else has a question for Camila? Go ahead. What's the weirdest thing you've ever received from a fan? The weirdest oh, thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, a fan gave me a Cheeran's water bottle once. Wait, what? Yeah, because she it was on Taylor's Red Tour, and so she went to one of the shows, and so she like s stole Ed's water bottle from stage. Or I think he threw it at her, and then she was like, "I know you love Ed Sheeran, so I got you his water bottle." And I was like, oh, God, "I'm kidding, no. no, I'm kidding." No, I was like, "No," but it was really sweet because she could have kept that water bottle, and, and she could have framed it. I mean, you can't went to Amazon or eBay with it and. Made a couple of bunks off her, right? Off the water bottle. Yeah. 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 She could have done that, yeah, and she didn't. She gave the it to me. The day's young, so no weird gifts, please. No locks of hair. Yeah, nothing <laughs> like that. Anyway, Heard you like dogs. Found this one. <laughs> In the back, hon. What's your question? Um, what's it like going from like covering Taylor's songs to being a part of her squad? Yeah. Yeah. It's squad. pretty. Squad. Um, it's amazing. I've always looked up to her so much, and she was... Actually, she was one of the people that made me want to start songwriting in the first place. Um, and I've always looked up to her musically. Um, but I think it makes it even better when you meet somebody and they're, you know, above and beyond even what you, th what you think they were going to be. Like, I always thought that she seemed like a really, really cool person. And I always wanted to be her friend. Like, when I, had, I have, like, an actual, like, a fan before I even met her, gave me a poster of her um, that I, like, hung up in my room. That shouldn't sound creepy because no. it was actually no. really cute no. yeah. um but i was a really i was a really big fan of hers and so like just meeting her and and getting to be her friend is amazing because she's just like such a special person and she's incredible i have a question from twitter real quick um margie margaret uh wants to know <laughs> what's your favorite homemade dish that your mom cooks oh <laughs> my mom just went oh. uh. <laughs> Um, well, you, you recook the good, um, picadillo, which is like, uh, how do you say that in English? Picadillo, like the, the beef, ground beef. Oh, okay. Ground okay. beef. We're so rolling with you on this one. We don't know so how to say it. ground beef, okay. and she puts raisins in it and corn in it. Woo! And it's really, really good. Mama. That's actually the only thing she <laughs> makes ever. <laughs> 
And she found out that she I liked it. She was like, though. you make yeah. that every day. Well, I'll tell you what. For your birthday, we had to get you a birthday cake, and we have to sing happy oh, birthday to you, so okay? Oh, thank you so much. Happy birthday cake. Thank you, uh, guys. Everybody. So we need to begin. On, on the count of three, we'll In harmony. Ready. All right. Kidding. One, two, two three. three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Camila. It's a portrait, yes. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. With the trick candles. Okay, one more. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Happy birthday. Thank you for coming, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, you guys. You guys are all so sweet. Thank you. And thank you for all the gifts and the crowns and stuff. Thank you.